What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. And today we are going to be doing some real short course racing or driving or track driving with the TRX. I'm out here at a really awesome private location with a three plus mile short course that was built for side-by-sides. They haven't ever run any big trucks on it before, but they let me take the TRX out and uh, run this thing. So I am super, super excited to actually use the truck for what it was built for. So we're gonna jump in this thing, go out, do a chase lap with one of the owners and then make a moderate hot lap at least. But my goodness, what a cool area. So let's jump in the truck, let's do this lap and uh, see how the short course racing goes with the truck. All right guys, we are getting ready to run a sight lap chasing a side-by-side -side here at the Sandy Bottoms. I believe it's over three mile side-by-side -side course. Um, I've never even ridden on it, so we're gonna try to take a, a halfway chase lap here and see what we can come up with. Supposedly, there's no jumps. Um, ooh. The tail's a lot happier out here. It's maybe a little more dusty. But it is pretty hard to see in the heavy dust. Oh boy. <laughs> we, uh, Maybe found some bump stops there. But yeah, it's uh, not very uh, confidence inspiring not knowing the course and trying to keep up with one of the property owners. But like I said, he said he was going to take it easy on this run for the sight lap and then we will turn up the pace I think on the next one. I mean, this is what this is built for, right? Short course running. Oh boy, she's a bucker. <laughs> Kind of wish I had cooled seats in this truck. <laughs> oh, I can't see him. So here's the importance of uh -oh. chase lights because if I, or if he had the bright amber chase lights, you know, even in the sun, it would be super important. In the dust, you cannot see the guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just, he's yeah. just a dust ball. But those amber lights cut through dust. the dust. Big, big dip into the ABS a little bit. We are running with the rear diff unlocked here on this chase run. Baja mode, we were running the AC the first half, but <laughs> I turned it off just for cooling engine reasons the truck obviously probably can handle it fine but race car it is a long course i will give them that yeah that's crazy big dip little little lift there but no even without big massive you know jumps it feels very fun. How's your stomach, Jesse? Fine? fine. Okay. Oh, wow. Chase lights are important. My goodness. Oh, if you carried enough speed, I think you could get off the ground on that. Huh? Well, gosh, I felt like we hung with him pretty well, but again, maybe yeah, he know. was way, way yeah. under his potential. 
and I can't turn that tight because I'm a big tank. <laughs> All right, I guess this is our first solo lap here. We'll uh, see what she does. Hopefully have Jesse here kind of halfway co-driving because we uh, won the halfway pace lap, but uh, we didn't really finish the whole course, but this is relatively decent dip. Truck seemed to take it fine. Ooh, she's bucking, <laughs> bucking Bronco. A little off the ground. Yeah, just not, not confident in the course. And Jesse and I have found out here today that TRXs are very under braked. If everybody online didn't already know that from doing high speed braking, uh, brakes get really hot here running on a course. And we're back on the section we ran Rallycross in here. It's a little bigger without the cones in the way. Turn off AC. Engine temps over half. All right, guys, as you can tell from the video, that was an absolute blast. The truck did awesome, but one thing. That is a big, massive issue that I found out with the TRX is the brakes. Now, as I came off the track on my first run, the brakes were smoking. So this three plus mile course had the brakes extremely hot, very overheated. I never had any brake fade. The pedal wasn't going to the floor, nothing like that, but the brakes are very, very undersized for a truck this heavy with this much power. So. We need to look into something. We need to put some DOT4 fluid in this thing and maybe look into a braked cooling duct kit. We need to get some air on these brakes since we can't really go any bigger because of the 18 inch wheels. 
So that is something we're going to need to look into if we want to keep short course running this thing. Any longer of a track, I would assume you would get some brake fade, some soft pedal. But for the first shakedown run with this thing, it did awesome. I couldn't ask for a more fun course. And again, such an awesome private area out here. So hopefully they'll have us back out. We can play with the truck again, maybe play with the Jeep out here. And guys, as always, thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys next time.